to go. Big game, this one. Dia and Wren. There's Sean Wren. A real comer. Good bounce, too, in the middle. Oh, it's a free kick. Well picked. Umpire Scott in the rear form already. Wren to McGuinness. It's going to be 50. So there's a good start. For the Crows, a chance to kick a goal with the very first kick of the afternoon. The umpires today, Peter Cameron, Andrew Coates, here's Sean Wren. The breeze will be a factor here. It'll take a good kick to get the distance. Sean Wren, aided by the 50 then. Crows need a flying start. Goes for distance. They'll contest in the pocket. It was a wayward kick, close to the boundary line. Madigan, as predicted, in place of Jenke, pushes the ball across the boundary line. And incidentally, it was Madigan who ran into Jenke on Thursday night at training. Accidentally, because Greg is not that type of uh, player. Boundary throw in the right forward pocket for the Crows. Hawthorne defence working hard to clear the ball over for another throw in. And when he did run into uh, Jenke, he knocked him right out. And also, I think he did a little bit of facial damage, maybe a broken cheekbone. That might have been a real good indication, Don, that the Hawks' ferocity at training could be a lead up to what's going to happen today, would you think? <laughs> Not with Madigan, no. Not with Madigan. Well, fair enough. Well, he's got the football in the left back pocket for the Hawks. Greg Madigan. High kick. Well outside 50 metres. Going down near the wing. Platten. Nikondon can't clear the pack. In goes Ayres working hard at ground level. Scott Lee in there for Adelaide. And the umpire will call for a bounce. So a bounce on the wing. Well, they're talking before about not doing too many games. He and I. This is only the third one. Remarkable. The roster has fallen that way. There's Jarman. Pushing it through, down towards half-forward, pulls it back, hauls the target, cleared him. Pittman's playing at centre half-back, Allen goes down, Hall's got it, quick hands, Morris, the open goal, beckons. He runs in, touches it down, here's the 100, he turns around and bangs it through, it's come early. Whoa. And a Hawthorne player slipped the ground in there, that's very dangerous. Cord came down on top of it. What hope are those guys in the black uniform got of controlling that crowd? Look, Dennis, they're running from just about everywhere on the ground. It really is a nonsense. Still, congratulations to Jason Dunstall. He's done it again. The fourth time. He's kicked 100 or more. Well, Dennis, if you look at his record, he's averaging four to five goals a game. And that is also the average of Coventry, Gordon Coventry, who has 12.99, nearly 1,300 goals at career. Jason, Jason Dunstall there on screen, 8, 87 goals. And Don, I three, think, I'll just interrupt you there briefly, Don, I think what Morrissey did there was good, wasn't it? He got it out of the road. He could have had a shot himself, but... Uh, well, it was a lay down, was there. It was a one-on-two situation. I mean, he just had to do the instinctive thing. That was go over the top. I was just a bit concerned about a Hawthorne player who fell over. And the crowd virtually just rushed over him. Well, he's been a goal-kicking sensation, Dunstan. Matthews has kicked more goals in his career than Dun uh, Jason Dunstall. 915, Lee Matthews, in 340 games. Just going back to the situation out there, Don, really, it wouldn't be tolerated in any other sport. I mean, you've got, no, you've got the Monica Sellers thing and all of that. I mean, you don't want people on the ground. There's even TV cameras out there with a crew, Dennis. I mean, this is unbelievable in a sport. I mean, you, it's just unbelievable. Yep. The sooner they stop this practice, the better. Jason Dunn still just waiting for all this to wash over him game to continue. I suppose it started back in the early 70s with Hudson, McKenna, Jezelenko, when they all kicked their goals. St. Douglas and Wade, Wade from Geelong. My word. He'd be watching this, I think. What a great player he was. What would you think if you just got off the plane from Italy or something and you arrived at Waverley? One goal kick and this erupts, I mean. If you just got <laughs> off the plane from Italy, would you come and watch it? I would. Not game of footy, yes. <laughs> I would. And there's Chris Langford all the way from full back, so he, he's not going to be denied. He's run the full length of the ground to congratulate Dunstall. Even the blue coats are shaking hands with Dunstall. So eventually, order is restored, and really, as I said earlier, it should not be tolerated in a game. That should not be allowed. It could lead to some sort of problem. I think that was 
probably quite convivial. Everybody was good-natured when they went out there, but that wouldn't always be the case, particularly if you had a situation where it was a meaningful game, late in the game, it had been a torrid game, emotions were running high, and a bloke posted his 100. Different kettle of fish altogether. Well, we must have wasted uh, close to 10 minutes there. There's Jason Dunstall, 100 goals again in a season of Australian rules football. So the game will recommence. Hawthorne one goal, Adelaide yet to score. Wren up high, gets rid of Deer. Wren attempted oh. hand pass, look for McDermott. Brown kicked the ball clear, but a free kick has been picked out. And it's going back to the Crows to be taken by Sean Wren. Well, that's the identical free kick to what happened in the first bounce down. Gary Ayres went crashing into that pack. It comes out wide, smart, on the forward line. Marks it out towards left, half forward. Angel Smart. Whitney has started in the forward pocket. It comes down towards Modra. He couldn't control it. Madigan goes to ground. He's got problems. Heads towards the boundary line. Baxter has it now. Over 100 games with the Bulldogs. He hooks it back towards half back and Smart, one of the most exciting players in the competition, comes up and takes the mark on his chest. All Australian player last year, Nigel Smart. Kick in short. Mark taken by Wiedemann. Well, if it wasn't for Dragenza, Smart wouldn't have got it across to Wiedemann because he had his back to play as he went back then. Smart, that is not good play. Dragenza told him, Wiedemann by himself, hence the ball's gone to Wiedemann. Difficult kick for Wiedemann. Gets good distance. Lands in the square, mark taken by Taylor for Hawthorne. And the rain falling now at Waverley and that breeze, as you can see by Taylor's hair, starting to spring up. So difficult kicking to the end of which Adelaide are kicking. Hawthorne have kicked just the one goal. Adelaide still yet to score. The kick goes out to half-back. Ayres, hand pass looking for Greg Deer. That's Brown for the Crows. The ball goes over for a boundary throw-in. Difficult conditions, I would suggest, here, with a, uh, well, a breeze blowing from right to left. But I'm sure the players are going to have a lot of difficulty controlling that football. Oh. Deer gets a free kick, plays on to Ben Allen, who's having a wonderful season. He boots it down towards half forward. Coming through was Rusciuto. Pittman was going back. Rusciuto has been paid the mark, I think. It's interesting matchup, Rusciuto and Hall. He's a promising youngster, Colin Rusciuto. Pittman and um, Hall. Here's Collins. Did nicely in a tight situation. Timed the release, got it to Allen. Pritchard gets an awkward bouncing ball. Pushed off it by Lee. That affected the kick. He gained about 15 metres, taken by Condon. He swung. Knocked forward by McDermott. Against the flow down there was Dunstall. That's Allen, number eight, sliding in late. And we've got a ball. You see Pittman now is picking up Allen. Dennis, do you have any theories about why Adelaide struggled to win games over here in Melbourne? Just talking about it yesterday, actually. But I, mean, I can't work it out at all. I mean, it's a short plane trip, isn't it? Yep. Here's Collins for Hawthorne, 45 metres from goal. And with what we feel is the breeze aiding this kick, he kicks it into the square and it eventually taken over by Jamison. And it's through for a rush behind to the Hawks. Just carrying it a step further. I mean, this is the first ground the West Coast Eagles, I think, came to terms with. And I think perhaps it does suit the Adelaide Crows. We'll find out this afternoon, but it's no coincidence they won here last year. This is Jamison in the pocket. He's taking his time to Lee. Plenty of space on this ground. Scott Lee. Fine player this season. Up from the back pocket. Boots it towards the wing. Pittman's in front. Allen will need to go. Pittman should have marked it. It falls behind. Darren Jarman hoists it high. Going back with the flight down there is Jamison. Coming up to mid at Dunstall. Knocked away by Jamison. Dunstall didn't have it. Could have got a free kick. Was Allen pushed in the back? I'm not sure. The umpire didn't seem to think so. Platten gets the hand pass away. A lot of ex-South Australians out there. And the free kick is going to one of them. And that's John Platten who kicked from about 45 metres out. Johnny Platten has been down on four a fortnight ago, started in the forward pocket, then went to the wing against the Cats at Cadinia Park. Platten from long range on the breeze, marvellous kick, goal. He's a key player, Don, isn't he? John Platten in this Hawthorne side. Well, he's been the one who's been getting it around mid midfield for a number of seasons now. He's not a real kicking, a goal kicking rover, but this was a good kick for goal. Maybe he's aided by the fact that Breeze is favouring that end, but from 50 metres out, 
Patton's first and Hawthorne's second goal. So the Hawks away to a pretty handy start. They're 2-1. Adelaide still yet to score. Kicked by Cooper. Flattened after he kicked it. Condon playing his 100th game. Good kick. Ben Allen. Platten streaming down the ground. He looks as though he means business. Out in front of Dunstall. Couldn't take the mark. Chance for Gowers. A little left foot kick by Gowers was quite brilliant in the finish. Tim Allen couldn't quite get on the end of it. And it's rushed through for another behind to Hawthorne. David Brown's got the job on Platten. He'll have to tighten up a bit. Ben Hart. Bickley, you can see the rain falling now. Bickley's kick in towards centre-half back. The mark is taken by McDermott. Chris Collins McDermott. Has, Collins has got the job on McGuinness. Captain of the Adelaide Crows. He kicks the ball in near the centre. Wren, a little tap for Tregenza's advantage. Not bad. Wren will get another free kick. Plenty of those so far. Here's Wren. He's had a couple. In fact, he's had three. Feeds it out to Lee. Lee running down towards half forward in the misting rain. Boots inside the 50. Liptak got a hand to it. Couldn't control it. Wigney now. About 30 metres from goal. Took a while. Gets the hand pass wide. Taken now by Anderson who props. 30 metres from goal. Misses to the left hand side. Did that well Wigney initially using his body. It was a bad kick by Anderson because he came on. Fooled everybody by going to the right. And David Brown's going off, and Jarman coming on, then came back onto his left foot. That was and that is Anderson. Should have put that through. So Andrew Jarman on the ground, and his brother Darren Jarman playing for the Hawks. A lovely kick by Langford lands nearly in the centre, and Ben Allen has read that perfectly, and he's thumped it to full forward. Oh, terrific mark in these conditions by Jason Dunstall. What a great player! Dunstall is for the Hawks. Well started with Greg Deer and the players recognising Deer's efforts. Yeah, Dunstall will shoot from about 35, maybe 40 metres. Slight angle. Usually converts these. And he's kicked the second goal. So two goals for Dunstall, one goal to Platten, Hawthorne lead by 19 points. Well, it looked like there was a vicious hook when he let that go, Dunstall. But they did get that ball down the centre very, very quickly, Hawthorne. Hart, nothing he could do on that occasion. Jason Dunstall. He's posted his 100 this afternoon, the first goal of the game. Umpire throws it up back in the middle. Deer decisively down to Allen. He was upended, taken by McGuinness. Spins out of trouble, well played. Boots it down towards half court. Cooper's in the row, plays on immediately, chips it out wide. Here's Ayers. Alongside him, Allen storming up the ground. Pittman should have got a free kick. Or was it Jamison? Jamison, who was pushed in the back, he'll get the free on the other side. Interesting the timing of that interchange because I think you'll find Andrew Jarman is picking up Ben Allen who is the man who got the ball from the kick in and ran down the middle. So Jarman was about 50 metres from him when the kick came in. Well, Bickley's got the job on uh, Platten. Baxter takes a free on the other side. Jarman got to the back of Allen. Ben Allen would have got the free. Advantage is paid. Collins hooks it down inside the 50. It bounces down towards the pocket. Dunstall comes out. Who was holding who down there? Doesn't matter much. They scramble after it. And no doubt we'll get a whistle. No, it's a free kick. Well, we've got a whistle, but I thought for a bounce, it's paid against Jamison. And the Hawks will get the free through Gowers in the right full forward pocket. Well, he could have been classified as a little stiff, but he did have one chance right here to get the ball out. Right there. Well, he's got to make a, su a successful attempt. Well, not a, you can't be a successful. It's got to be successful in getting the ball out. Otherwise, a free kick. Gowers it is. Shot for goal. Looks pretty good. It's a goal. So Gowers' first goal is Hawthorne's fourth. And certainly going with the aid of the breeze, the Hawks lead 4-2 to Adelaide one point. Well, this could be a match-winning break. I know it might be a little foolish saying it. Only 14 odd minutes gone in this game. But the rain, and it doesn't look as it might break. But it's coming down rather strongly here at the moment.
So the players trying to get the ball clear of the centre circle. A free kick has been picked out of it. It's going to Andrew Jarman. It's a bad start by the Crows. And Jarman turns it over. This is Collins. He's played on. From half back. High kick back towards the wing. Rashudo's in front. Jamison flies from behind. Got a fist on it. Gowers will get another free. Pushed in the back. So Jamison's got his problems. Gowers to take it. Two umpires advising Jamison. Well, that's interesting. He hung on to it for a long time. Gowers has got the free. In any case, he goes down towards half forward. Up in front, Pittman marks on his chest. One on the defensive 50 to McDermott. Nothing on on the outer side. Forced to kick it high towards the wing. Gowers in front. Couldn't hang on that time. Rates it in. Played it pretty well. Wiedemann tries to crash his way through. Collins got him. Pushing the ball towards the boundary is McGuinness. Close to the boundary line. McGuinness goes down towards half forward. In front. Lunging mark is taken by Liptak who plays on. A good play by McGuinness to force the ball forward. This now is with Tregenza. He's kicked the full forward. Langford much stronger than Mogra. Darren Jarman gets back. He's kicked smothered off the boot. Chance for Taylor. Not a bad kick by that player. Outside 50. Cooper's hand pass. Langford's done some good running from the back pocket. Little kick off the ground. Maybe to Hawthorne's advantage. Morrissey leaves it behind. Andrew Jarman dragged off the football. Could have nearly got a free kick. Greg Deer, his kick. Bounce very awkward for Scott Lee. Oh, in goes Platten hard at the football. Hawks meaning very much business this afternoon. Rusciuto's kick is chopped off by Jarman. A solid shepherd behind play. And the kick falling nearly into the hands of Wren. Wren very skillfully and then kicks with the left oh. foot short. Marcus taken by Condon. That was meant for Maynard and Condon chopping it out. Condon about 70 metres from goal. Goes in short. Tony Hall on his chest. Hall kick from right on the 50. Dropped a fortnight ago. Back last week to good effect. Perhaps their best forward. Long kick just off target and through for a behind. So just under 13 and a half minutes till quarter time. There's our scoreline. Hawthorne have jumped away quickly and lead by 26 points. Short one to the pocket. McDermott thought about giving it back to Hart. Little gain there. McDermott indicating towards the boundary line. That breeze is quite strong, but Hawthorne is certainly doing best at the present time. Maynard on his chest. Back after injury against the Sydney Swans. Off his collarbone. Oh, down off ground. That should yes. be. Speaking of collarbones. Lee took one. Condon and Lee involved behind play. Meantime, it's a free kick down ground for Adelaide. Well, Scott Lee would probably know a few of these Hawthorne players pretty well, wouldn't he? Because uh, he did play at Hawthorne a few and years a ago. A lot of these guys were in the reserve great team with him. The kick in towards centre half for Jarman falling to the ground. That's Andrew, taken by Ben Allen. Ben Allen's kick. And a great diving effort there by Gowers. Gowers is at uh, right half forward. He kicks it high into the pocket. Dunstall couldn't take the mark. Tim Allen, tackled by Anderson. Ball spills for Darren Jarman. One way, then the other. Then onto the left foot. Look at this, will you? Oh, oh what a great goal. Now, that is just a sign of a player special. with so much talent. 5-3 plays a point. The way he did this is if his kicks on his left foot all the time, Jarman. Right, left. And very nonchalantly under the left foot. Something else. Just a magic goal from Darren Jarman. 32 points the difference. The Hawks have jumped very well. Ayers towards half forward. There's desperation about the Crows at the present time and being led to the ball. Paul gets the hand pass off. Gowers is causing a lot of problems down there. Oh, great mark by Hart. Soaring above Dunstall. You don't often see that. So the youngster out of the back pocket, across the ground. Wren will need to mark this one, and he does. The defensive side of the 50. Some indecision now. He's told to play on. Kicks it towards the wing. One out is Jarman, worked his way in front of Allen, marked on his chest, chips it downfield, taken by Maynard, hard against the boundary line, hugs it with the kick, Wiedemann, well played there by Ayers, just committing to the ball, getting a fist on it, angling it out of bounds. 
Oh, don't worry about Gary Ayres. I mean, he's been uh, under a fair amount of criticism, but uh, terrific player for Hawthorne. Boundary throw in. Ball with Ben Allen. Weedham in the tackler. There's Ayres again underneath it. He could be penalised. No. Umpire Cameron giving him just a little chance to move the football on. McGuinness, Jarman in trouble. Andrew missing at Scott Lee. Look at Darren Jarman's pick up with the wet ball. Brilliant. Kick to the 50 metre line. Mark taken by Gowers. Best man on the ground so far. Handball away. Jarman again. Darren Jarman for goal. Hooks the kick. And gets just one behind result. I wonder if they're going to make a change because Pittman just not keeping up with Gowers. Darren Jarman in the picture. Graham Corns with some uh, real concerns early in this match. 5-4 plays a point. The kick in has been marked by McGuinness. He's in the right back pocket. Forced to kick high. Maynard's gone on to Gowers now. No mark taken. Condon was the player who punched it clear. Bickley gets his kick. Over his left shoulder. Chance for Platten. Tregenza right on him, but Platten shrugs the tackle. Tregenza can't get him. Platten runs away and kicks it up towards full forward. Dunstall can't mark. Ball will be cleared by Rusciuto. He goes very wide. The Crows want this to go out of bounds. I doubt it will. It's going to be touch and go. It stops. Cooper picks it up just inside the line. Goes short. Pritchard. Pritchard about 60 metres from goal, runs to the 50, goes with a long kick, but he's off target, and it's a behind. What did you to do with Pittman because he was playing half back on Gowers. Maynard's got the job. There's hard. Pittman looks as if he's going to interchange now. He's still up on the back line. Hart boots it straight down the middle. Ren from behind in the role of spoiler knocks it forward. McGuinness comes through. He's in trouble. The tackling is good from the Hawks. Jarman across to Tregenza. Tregenza inside the centre square goes looking for Modra. Kept his feet well. Lip tack arrives first though. Pulls it back across his body. It bounces across the goal face and Madigan leads in the race. Madigan's kick off the ground was quite effective in the finish. About 25 metres further away from the Adelaide goal boundary throw in Greg Madigan he's been at Hawthorne for probably three or four seasons now Bickley Scott Lee can he post the Crows first goal no mark taken by Langford Chris Langford could go straight down the ground because Collins has made good position out on the wing no he's going in short centre half back no one picking Cooper up and he marks unattended Goes short as well. So Hawthorne trying to set something up. He's Condon, 50 metres from the Crows' goal. Kicks wide out near the wing. Tim Allen falls over. And Pitt Pittman is there for the Crows to see it over for a throw-in. Just over eight minutes left. We had a, a long delay when Jason Dunstall kicked his 100th goal. Pittman doing the ruck work. Ben Allen nearly scooped that away. Tim Allen's hand pass taken by Tregenza. Andrew Jarman in trouble. McGuinness or Darren Jarman. Hawks look pretty committed to me. Scott Lee. In goes Tim Allen. Bickley. Greg Deer's got him. No, he hasn't. He shrugs the tackle. Gets the handball back for Jamison. Jamison's kick. High. Holds up in the breeze. Baxter couldn't take the mark. Neither could Nigel Smart. Oh, Baxter nearly a free kick there. Too high against Nigel Smart. And the free kick will go to Darren Baxter. There's the tackle high. John Platten on his knees behind that. Busy early. Six possessions so far. Rashuda, big leap from behind. It's going to be a free kick. And it will be taken by Tony Hall. A real pro, Tony Hall. Just goes about his business. Dual premiership player with the Hawks and with Glenelg. Goes out wide. Gowers again. He's bobbing up everywhere. Gowers, 80 metres from goal. Dunstall comes on the lead. Hard in close attendance. Got a timely fist on it. Beats him on the ground. Well played. Fortunately, it just ran athlete. out of bounds. Great athlete. The way he jumped up and punched that ball away hard. Youthful enthusiasm. Remember it? Yes. A long time ago, Dennis. <laughs> oh, that was subtle, wasn't it? <laughs> Chris McDermott. 
Well, I thought McDermott oh, was geez. just a little high, that tackle. Yeah, I agree with you. Tony Hall's got the free kick. The free kicks are nine for Hawthorne, six for Adelaide. Dunstall oh. in between two Crow defenders. Oh. And Dunstall's going to get the free kick. Now, I thought Jay Dunstall pushed or jumped into the back of Reed. Look. Ben Hart was just a little touch in his back. Oh. But I don't think it really affected that contest. Almost self-preservation, wasn't it? Dunstall for his third goal. And certainly that will give Hawthorne the advantage, no matter what we think of this breeze. Six goals, five in the first term is a formidable score. Three goals for the champion full forward for Hawthorne. At the other end of the ground, Modra, yet to add to his tally. Well, a very two very doubtful free kicks. One to um, Tony Hall. I thought he had McDermott on the uh, shoulder. In turn, Hall got it across to Dunstall, and Dunstall, well, a very light free kick. Jason Dunstall has three goals now. 102 for the season. And the margin has blown out to 40 points, so Adelaide in all sorts of trouble here. You've got to think about getting the four points this afternoon, that's important, but also bear in mind percentage in the run home. Every goal now is important. Adelaide started the day with a pretty reasonable percentage as Wren goes up and taps it down. Andrew Jarman gets it away. Wren back towards half forward. Not that we're saying this is lost yet. There's some work to be done for the Crows. Baxter across to Taylor. Taylor towards midfield. Dia juggles it nicely. In the hands behind the greasy ball. Across it comes to Pritchard. It's a bit easy. Pritchard inside the 50. Pittman goes up. Should have fisted away. Kept it in the area. They battle after it. Morrissey on his knees. Allen comes again to his namesake. Tim Allen got it to Ben Allen. Who misses to the right-hand side. Gee, that was good play again by Hawthorne. They had numbers around the football and just kept on pushing it clear. He's done very well, Ben Allen. Terrific running from midfield. Seven possessions so far to that player. This is Ben Hart. Kicks it well outside 50 metres and the mark taken by Wren. Sean Wren has probably been Adelaide's best player so far in the game. Been the recipient of three free kicks. Good gather by Wiedemann. Sweeps around onto the left foot. He kicks it high in towards centre half forward. Good use of the body by Cooper. Madigan in front. Whitney the chaser. Madigan gets the handball away. Cooper percentages bashes it over the boundary line. Paul Cooper, who played a lot of football in Hawthorne's reserves team, into this senior side now and looks very, very difficult to displace. He's had five possessions. There's McGuinness. Kick across his body. Try to tap on was Modra. Gathered by Collins. Runs across the front of the square. And he'd be happy to see that over, I think, Andrew Collins. But no one really to kick it to. Jarman and Anderson were the closest players to that contest. And the throw-in will take place just outside the 50-metre line. Ruckman converging. Madigan, no, it was Taylor. McGuinness, lip tack. In comes Pritchard. Collins, Tregenza, now Deer can't get the ball clear. Scott Lee, around onto the right foot. It was smothered well by Condon, kicked off the ground by Pritchard, and Hawthorne temporarily out of trouble. Yeah, that was brilliantly done. Like a scrum half coming across to Pritchard. Luke goes down from Condon towards half foot and runs free. Allen must get a free kick, taken front on there, with his head down. Dangerous stuff by Sean Wren. Tim Allen wastes no time. Centering kick. Here comes Dunstall with pace. Hart's got plenty too. Arrived at the Always same time. Hurt himself ball. too, Ben Hart. Yes, Hart is hurt. Meantime, taking advantage of that, Dunstall slips away and gets the pass from Morrissey. The kick at goal from about 40 metres out. Oh, I think he's done a hammy. Yes, he has. Hart has done a hamstring. So here's Dunstall. With three goals already, kicking at his fourth. That man won't be here much longer. In fact, Dunstall, with the area cleared out behind the man on the mark, could easily run around, but he's thinking goal. He kicks. And he kicks truly. 
still has four. And the Hawks are putting on a clinic at 7-6 to a behind. Well, it's Ben Hart in picture there. Maybe he hasn't done the hamstring. He definitely did grub, grab the uh, back of the thigh, the hamstring area when he went back onto Dustle. There he is. Ruck contest at the centre. Scott Lee picks up the crumbs and kicks it near centre half forward. Nigel Smart having a little bit of a biff there with Anderson, his teammate. Hawthorne combining again, Taylor, Ben Allen, and then Darren Jarman, back to Ben Allen. He kicks it to a vacant left half forward region. Out comes Dunstall. Well, this is ridiculous because uh, Hart, now Hart is still with his hands on his knees behind. Now this is where he injured himself, Hart, and they haven't replaced him. He's still limping and Dunstall nearly got the ball again. Well, if it's not a hamstring, he must have cramped up. And maybe that's what he's thinking, that it's just cramp. Morrissey, confronted by Wren, 50 metres from the Hawthorne goal. They lead 7-6 to Adelaide, one point. Jamis has now gone on to Dunstall and Hart's up around the action. And what are they doing? Taking Wiedemann down onto the back line. Maybe bringing Hart up onto the forward line. Adelaide. Ball up, 50 metres from the Hawthorne goal. Here's Scott Lee, and he will clear for Adelaide. Towards midfield. Up comes Smart, marks on his chest. 7-6 to a behind. Awful dominant, Smart. Looks for Wigney, it was fisted away. Well done by Madigan. Jarman hooks it out wide. Ben Allen's got the run. Hart hobbles towards him. That confused Allen a little bit. He goes in short, the kick had too much carry. Here's Lee, he fumbles. <laughs> Allen learnt by the last throw that came at him. Socket off the ground. Rowe comes, took his eye completely off the ball as he came through the interchange gate. Ben Allen's got it now. Gets around Rowe, touches down once, kicks towards the attacking 50. Platten will need to fly. Didn't get very high. This is Wiedemann running out of space, finessing. Now that Hawthorne player didn't have the ball. And I think it'll be a Hawks free down there. And now the game's on. The hooded player initially was Wiedemann and 50 against him. Jamie Morrissey will get the free. He was held without it. And now Wiedemann will go back virtually on the goal line. Everything is falling apart as far as the Adelaide Crows are concerned. And Hawthorne, this is just what they wanted. There's Ben Hart in the dugout. Hawthorne started the day with the lowest percentage of the top six. Almost doubting that, holding the man. Hawthorne would love this. Well, four goals, Dennis, have come from free kicks if he kicks this one. And he does. 8-6 to a behind. Just been a sensational quarter of football by Hawthorne, and uh, one wonders what Adelaide can do to stop the flow. That's his first goal for the season, Morrissey, but when you look at the stats, this is only his third game of the or fourth game of the year. Peter Larkin, the club doctor, the Melbourne-based doctor there with Ben Hart. He was a good runner, Peter Larkin. Went for Brock Hill Athletic Club there is Wiedemann and Morrissey. Actually talking about James Morrissey kicking his first goal for the year, Don, it's his hundredth career goal. He's still trying to get up off the ground. Here's Cooper. Short kick. Mark is taken by Condon. Condon caught the play on. Very efficient off the left side, but the siren sounds to halt that passage of play. And at quarter time, the Crows have got a big job in front of them. Hawthorne 8 6, Adelaide 1. Finish for the day. And maybe another week as well. Hawthorne forced the ball clear of that centre circle. Gowers, Maynard as his opponent, tries to get the hand pass, looking for Ayres. Tregenza in there, kick off the ground by Ben Allen. Marcus taken oh. at half-back by McDermott. Away for Rusciuto. They may get out of trouble. And eventually a free kick against McDermott. It was a bit of a blunder there at centre-half-back, putting Rusciuto under enormous pressure. And Tim Allen has the free kick. Wiedemann running across the uh, the kicker. Short kick. 
All right. Oh, diving, he's got it. No, not pay. May have hit the ground. Platten. McDermott, the tackler. Wiedemann caught. Tim Allen. Chipping in as McGuinness. And McGuinness will clear for Adelaide. He kicks the ball up near the half-forward line. Taken away by Nigel Smart. Ever so cleverly. He goes for goal. Can he post the Adelaide side's first goal? It looks pretty good. No, it's just offline and through for one behind kick by Nigel Smart. Two behinds, Adelaide, 8-6 Hawthorne. Tony Modra is goalless. So are the Crows. Langford to bring it in. It's had a pretty good year, Chris Langford. Pretty good career. It's Madigan. Langford goes straight down the middle. The Hawks playing with growing confidence. In front, Taylor couldn't hang on. McGuinness a half chance from 45 metres out. It's a goal. Terrific effort. So the Crows get there first belatedly. 8-6 to 1-2. But Tony McGuinness is working pretty hard for them. Well, Collins had the better of him in the first quarter. But also Anderson, McGuinness, McDermott. Tregenza, also Bickley will have to lift because that's where Adelaide get their drive from. Those midfielders, there's McGuinness, got to kick about half back earlier and now this goal. Well, certainly the breeze going to that left-hand end of the screen. 8-6 to 1-2, the main scoreboard here at Waverley has got 8-6 to 2-2. Hawthorne get the ball away from the centre, Cooper receiving and the short pass is all right for Ben Allen handball good running by Pritchard approaching the half forward area his kick across his body oh Dunstall nearly got hold of it Bickley will clear away to Jamison his kick into the center has been marked by Wiedemann plays on puts McGuinness under enormous pressure in there is Platten Wiedemann hard over the top of that player now Bickley kicking quickly center half forward marking contest no one can grab it. Tregenza waited. Pritchard held by Nigel Smart. And Pritchard will I take the free kick. up there. Adelaide's fortunes at the moment when Tregenza waited. So the Hawks quite fierce in their desire for the football. Ben Allen takes the short pass from Darren Pritchard. Here's Allen then. Forward of the wing. Kicks inside the 50. Pittman reaches over the top. Knocks it to the ground. Condon didn't have the ball. Out of mid-air there by Allen, that's Tim Allen, and it's gone out of bounds on the full in the left foot forward pocket. Well, sometimes the Crows have got to learn, I think, just to hold the ball. A couple of their hand passes in the last five minutes have been telegraphed. McDermott to Rusciuto, and that last one from Wiedemann to McGuinness. Around the outer side, this is Darren Jarman. Did nicely. Good to throw it to Collins. Down went Collins. We've got a whistle, and the throw was seen. Yes, so. he, he just handed it across. It wasn't a handball. And that's why the free kick's been awarded to Adelaide. Anderson. Well, his third kick coming up. He's been battling so far. The right half back. Boots it high towards the wing. Smart work underneath it. Well done by Taylor. Clearing a path for this man here is to mark on his chest. He chips it out wide. Darren Jarman has it on the wing. Took a long time. Gets the hand pass off though. Baxter confronted. Goes over the top. It's taken by Condon. Condon left half forward, pulls it back across his body, or tried to. It stays wide and goes out of bounds on the foot. Yes, yeah, disappointed uh, Condon there. Reminded me of Greg Norman when he missed the putt to uh, continue that playoff in the PGA. Poor old Anthony Condon. Here's a chance now for McDermott to kick Adelaide into their forward half. Goes near the centre of the ground. At the back, Nigel Smart shrugs the tackle. Handball. Oh, very, very bad. Tregenza had no hope. Ayers confronted him. Scott Lee picked up the crumbs and kicked it about 35 metres towards the Adelaide goal. But Hawthorne tidy. Darren Jarman and Langford combine and the ball finishes with Collins at left half back. Collins kick in short. Tim Allen can't break clear. Collins kick off the ground by Pittman. Close to the boundary line. Taken by McGuinness. Was it over? Yes. Said the boundary umpire who was standing quite near that action and he'll throw it in Tony McGuinness the solitary goal scorer for Adelaide Dunstall has kicked four for the Hawks 
free kick out of the ruck contest and it's going to be Sean Wren. That's seven kicks and three handballs. He's been probably Adelaide's best player. Nigel Smart has tried pretty hard. Wren's kick. Centre half forward. Punched away from Taylor. Now Ayres. Tackled by Andrew Jarman. Didn't have the football. Gary Ayres will take the free kick. He's running pretty straight and hard Ayres. Pretty determined man, I would suggest. That kick falls in short. Mark is taken by Tregenza. He plays on. Modra's on in the square. They're coming to him now, though. They surround him, and the mark is held behind by Taylor. Could have been a free kick to Langford. Yeah, could have been. Advantage is paid, though. Modra was free momentarily, but they needed to get it low and quickly to him, and now Collins takes it across the boundary line. Andy Collins, a former best and fairest winner with the Hawks. He's had a very good year, and probably the major rival to Ben Allen. Darren Jarman, although well, Jarman's been quiet in recent weeks. This is smart. This season's award, that is. Rowe flicks it across, threw it. Should have gone with the left hand. He tried to hand pass it with the right. He needed to be a contortionist. And as a result, he has paid the penalty. Here's Darren Jarman in the back pocket. 12 possessions, 13 possessions now for Darren Jarman. Pittman takes the mark on centre wing for Adelaide. Now, is that a case for 50 metres? It's not forthcoming, but I'm sure there's a few people in Adelaide maybe watching this that probably thought so. Pittman's kick. Nigel Smart tries to tap it on. Kick off the ground by Taylor. It's Jason Taylor for the Hawks, and a boundary throw-in will take place. We're well into the second term. Adelaide have only kicked one goal so far with the aid of the breeze. Boundary throw-in about 40 metres around from their goal. Wiedemann, now Nigel Smart, goes through and it scores a behind. So Adelaide really looking for a succession of goals here to make a contest of it by half time and uh, it certainly is a struggle. Langford kicks the ball straight down the ground. 45 points the margin, oh great mark there, Darren Jarman, a signal for a fair catch. He boots it out wide. This is Pritchard handling it towards the boundary line. Tregenz a good pressure. Wins the ball. Feeds it inside. Lee. Gowers just missed him. Lee proceeds then from the wing. Back towards half forward. In front smart. Fisted away by Taylor. Taken by Deere. At close quarters Darren Jarman. Jarman down towards half forward. Pittman reaches up. Got a hand to it. Slapped it forward. Needs to try and get it off the deck. Sliding in there is Pritchard. Quick hands. Gets it away to Gowers. Open space for Dunstall. And he comes. 35 metres from goal, but he slipped over. Hasn't got the ball. Could have almost got a free there. Jarman shrugs a tackle. Well played. Kept his head. Finds Anderson. Anderson plays on across half back. Spots Tregenza. And or a man behind him. That's Bickley. Bickley now to Tregenza. Tregenza on the wing. Chips it down to half forward and row. And Rowe has the football, probably two and a half kicks from the Adelaide goal. He kicks it into the forward pocket area. Great mark. A very good diving effort there by Tony Modra. Excellent lead too. The ball swinging away to the left and Modra diving. Then kicks it long in towards the goal square. Excellent mark taken by Whitney. Battle of strength, used his body well, Whitney. And let's hope this man can resurrect a career that was so promising when he was at Footscray. State representative when he played at Footscray. But then things started to fall off for him as far as Whitney's career went. Shoots for goal and puts it through for Adelaide second. So Whitney with one goal and McGuinness with one. Adelaide 2-3, trail Hawthorne 8-6. Now playing for the Sturt Club in South Australia, Whitney, when he's not playing for the Crows. And here it is. Look at the way he used his body here, Whitney. Just there, just edging out Madigan. Also had a stint at Sydney before going to Adelaide, Whitney. So the Crows are edging back. It's a big task for them. They trailed 8 6 to a behind at quarter time. They've kicked the only two goals of the quarter. Aided by the breeze, probably four or five would be realistic if they can hold the Hawks in this term, and then the third term becomes absolutely essential for them. The Hawks will have the breeze and could blow this game apart. Collins over the ball, top of him is Wren, and the whistle. At the moment the sun is shining, 
ground looks terrific. Isn't by Cameron with the ball, bouncing alongside the centre circle. Wren and Deer, one by the former, he thumps it down towards Harford. Pritchard, who's been busy, lays it off to Ware, smothered off the boot by Liptak, who didn't have the ball. No free kick. Smart emerges with it from just outside the 50. Modra up in front, couldn't hang on, knocked forward. Taken by Rose, strong tackle there by Langford, got him. Wigney's hand pass all directed. Opportunity for McGuinness, as you can see, he's outnumbered. Was that in the back? Holding the ball. Yes, controlling it, but just did not get rid of it. Didn't even make an attempt. Well, if you dive on it, you're in trouble, aren't you? Jason Taylor has the football for Hawthorne. Wide at half back. He switches play back near the centre of the ground. Ben Allen using his body very well. Beats Tregenza, then sweeps the hand pass out into the path of Tregenza's opponent. Darren Pritchard. Pritchard's kick in towards centre half forward, and a good mark taken by Scott Lee. Always oh. a good performer, but that hand pass missed by a long way. Then the hand pass by Jamison found McDermott. In turn, Anderson. They've had four positions and they've gone forward about 25 metres. Here the ball is with Wiedemann, just forward of centre half back. He kicks it long. Centre half forward marking contest. There was no contest. Taylor took it safely on his chest. Goes across the ground. A chance for Andrew Jarman, though, up in front, but he's outmarked by Ayers, reaching over the top. In fact, the mark wasn't paid. He plays on, gets it to Deer. This is Platten. A searching run through the middle. He boots it down towards half foot. Now, the half back line, in fact, the entire defence was working better for the Crows. This is Pittman. Goes short to McGuinness. He'll need to go out there because he's outnumbered. Still he goes, McGuinness, though. Leads back in the race, confronted. Flicks it across to Wiedemann. Well played. And now Wiedemann right on the wing. Unloads for a long kick inside the 50. Langford comes at the ball in from the side. Taylor. They spoiled each other. Rose got it now. Shovels the hand pass out. Andrew Jarman 40 metres out. That was interesting. Condon's got the run of it. Taken high. And he'll get the free kick. Anthony Advantage could have been play, paid then too because Deer was by himself. Is it an observation that uh, is close to being correct? Does Nigel Smart give a lot away a lot of free kicks? Well, I haven't noticed, to tell you the truth. Yeah. He's just so interesting to watch. He really has a go at the opposition player, and uh, I'd suggest that he's probably given away three free kicks already, and this game is only not halfway over. Cooper in the picture there, the ball to be thrown in, left half forward for Adelaide. They trail 2-3 to 8-6. Desperately need another goal quickly. McDermott kicks to the square. Punched away by Madigan. Ball rebounds. Liptak waited for it again. And in went Darren Jarman and got that football away. Chance for Hawthorne to force it forward through Nixon, who's come onto the ground. Maynard. Oh, in goes Gowers and Tim Allen. Pickman goes back to Maynard. Gives away a little bit of ground. Rodney Maynard looks a little out of sorts. Kick off the ground by Gowers. And it goes inside 50 for the Hawks. And Liptek coming off for Adelaide and Brown coming back on. Hudson warming up for Hawthorne. I don't know who he is going to replace. Maynard has missed, what, three or four weeks with that crook shoulder and... Uh, at least, yeah. It just happened against Sydney, didn't it? Six weeks. It looks as though, uh, to me, he's just holding that right arm along his side there as if it may have got another knock on it. Anyway, we'll wait and see. Boundary throw in, 50 metres. Gowers, big punch. Back in defence is Wren. He's oh, in trouble. Oh. Hawthorne will get a goal. Gang tackling by the Hawks. Goal to Tony Hall. Well, it's done still a to tackle on Wren. Wren looking around for the hand pass. Should have just whacked it on his boot in that situation and got the ball away. Here it is. Wren looking for the hand pass, just too slow. Dunster laying the tackle, spills out. Hall, easy stop. Paul Hudson on the ground. Tim Allen's gone off. There's our scoreline, 9-6-2-3. So just what you need if you're Adelaide. Paul Hudson coming out of the forward line. When... It's going to be an interesting really match, uh, Dennis, because Pittman is picking up Hudson. Hawthorne have got a sniff. As Taylor gets it out wide, this is Cooper breaking away. And he's looking for Hudson on the outer side. Pittman fell over, and Pittman's going to get the free kick. He plays on immediately to McDermott. One wonders why. McDermott is confronted then by the man who was standing the mark. That was Hudson. He kicks it around the outer side, and Jarman goes back and takes the mark. Aaron Jarman. 
uh, pretty well so far. In fact, very well. 18 possessions to Jan as he boots it back towards half forward. Gowers, who started in terrific fashion, a blemish there, dropped the mark. Pittman gets the hand pass away. This is McGuinness from half back. Down towards half forward. Rowe camped in front. Cooper knocks it away. Taken by Andrew Jarman. Jarman kicks for space. On the lead, Modra. Hit him on the chest on the bounce. Wigney and Madigan face to face. Rowe does well. Pushed off it by Jarman. Back comes Wigney. Wigney was held without it. No free kick. Tregenza tries to soccer it off the ground. It ricochets off length but taken by Cooper. And this is Baxter. Oh, well done by Hawthorne. They just got numbers back there in that last line of defence and forced the ball clear. Collins kicks it in towards the centre of the ground and a good diving mark is taken by Greg Deer. One of the real heroes for Hawthorne. Handball Platten. Platten grabbed by the leg by Bickley. And Platten will take the free kick for Hawthorne close to centre wing. He kicks in towards the centre of the ground. Position is made by Pritchard. He plays on quickly. Kicks to half forward. Gowers and Maynard. Ball for Lee, but he couldn't quite control the football. Back goes Condon. Short kick, effective Allen. That's Ben Allen is marked on the 50 metre line. His short pass. Greg Deer has the football just a little closer and pretty well straight in front of goal. Greg Deer, who made a return to the Hawthorne Seniors last week. And I believe he was told, what, well, about halfway through the year, Don, that he wasn't going to play again in the Seniors. We made a few decisions like that at Hawthorne. Kick to the front of the goals, it's punched away, close to the line, Hudson, no, it's over, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Nice same could be said about Ayers too. Yes, very true, both veterans for the Hawks. Ruck contest, Wren in front, Pittman there for the Crows. Underneath all that is Maynard, certainly going to test his shoulder out there, Greg Deer, and the umpire will throw it in the air. It's a character to both of those players. It shows their character, the way they've fought their way back into the side. Loose ball. Rusciuto tries to slap it out. McGuinness to Lee. He's kicked back towards half forward. He opened the gate for Ben Allen, whose kick wasn't good. And a diving mark in the square is claimed by Jamison to Lee. Lee up from the back pocket. Kicks towards centre half back. Andrew Jarman's in front. Strong mark. Plays on immediately. Plays towards half forward. Coming up on the lead is Wiedemann. Plays it off to Bickley, who's been pretty quiet by his standards. He kicks inside the 50. Down there is Langford. Got a hand to it. It comes back to Modra. Worked off it well. Cooper going in very strongly. And again, he picks up the loose ball and boots it across half back. Now an opportunity for Taylor. Brown put his body in. Well played by Brown. Tied it up. And from the prime position, got it out to Bickley. Bickley goes down towards full forward. He's off target. And it's a behind. Well, well done there by David Brown. A lot of the Adelaide sides kicks towards their forward area, just bombing away blindly. It doesn't give the forwards much chance. Here's Platten. Hawthorne clear the ball out of defence pretty easily. And I think Graham Corns would be happy with that. Collins with the football on centre wing. Kicks in the Hudson direction. Punched away by Rusciuto. In goes Collins again. Confronted by Pittman. Hudson is there. Trying to force it clear. Here's McGuinness. He's got that little bit of pace over five or ten metres, Tony McGuinness, that enables him to get clear of the pack. Wiedemann. His kick into the centre. Bickley marks. Mark Bickley. Been a good player for Adelaide for most of the season. Modra. Well done. He's got another chance. The second time he's got away from Langford, hard to find a Hawthorne player that's not contributing. They're all doing particularly well, Hawthorne. Adelaide really struggling. Well, Modra for his first goal. Good kick. Excellent kick as a goal. As I said, being held well by Langford, Modra. All these Hawthorne players really having a go, realising the situation. It's a big job for Modra because Langford, a very strong fullback. Oh, gee, it was a good kick, though, from deep in that right forward pocket by Tony Modra. So the Crows edge a little closer. 
but still, it's a vast gap as we can see. Socket off the ground by Cooper. Ben Allen swings it out wide. Gowers is in front. Pritchard is coming to help, but Gowers didn't control the ball. Maynard's got problems. A close quarters to Jarman, who flicks it across towards Pittman, who tried to side put it through the oncoming pack. Nixon gives it across to Allen, meantime, who sets it up for Dunstall. The fullback is down. Jamison Dunstall takes the penalty. Goes off the ground and sinks it. He's got five. Ten, six to three, four. Well, a mistake by Pittman, half back, trying to tap that ball on. It's cut out there, it is. Allen cut it out, ran on, got the hand pass from Nixon. Dunstall a little too strong there, good body work. Didn't use the hands at all and just follows on. His fifth. Oh, he's an efficient player, isn't he, Jason Dunstall? Lots of people would have tried to just hack at that football, but he did it quite well in the finish for his fifth goal. Wren up high, Greg Deer punched away by Bickley. Rowe, handball could have been meant for Anderson. He missed him by two metres. Anderson forced to kick quickly. Cooper overruns it. In goes Madigan, but well handled again by Jarman. Short kick, bounce awkward. Bickley controls it. Handball. Again, missed the target by a long way. Darren Jarman's high kick. It's been marked by Chris McDermott. McDermott, short kick. Tapped on by Smart. Don't quite know whether that was all uh, that well planned, but Cawthorn will tidy up across half back. Cooper's kick off the ground wide. Tregenza with pace. Gets past and kicks it in towards half forward. Mark taken by Collins. Standing his ground admirably. Andrew Collins at centre-half back. Squares it. Out to Langford, who's run up the ground. He's got this one at left-half back. Just over six minutes till half-time. Hawthorne in control. Back in the game. And in that situation, Tony Hall. Good mark. He's on the wing. Centres it. Plenty of Hawthorne players on in the middle. Dee has got it. Thought about going to Condon. Still could go to Condon. Oh, a model of indecision there is Deer. Eventually he kicks it very high. Inside the 50, Gow's forced to spoil from behind. It falls forward. Hudson ran into a dead end. Against the flow, Jamison did well to Rusciuto. He feeds it now to McDermott. McDermott from right half back in the sunshine here at Waverley. Drives it down towards half forward. Going back was smart. Taylor got a fist on it. tregenza has got the run of it. This is McGuinness. Cross it comes to support from Wiedemann. Wiedemann's good kick. Wigney comes on the lead and marks right on the 50. That was an excellent kick, a 40-metre pass. They do it so well, players, nowadays. Their pass are not just travelling 20 metres, they're travelling 40 and 50 metres. And that was an excellent kick and terrific lead by Wigney. So the Crows need this one. He's kicking at his second. He'll kick from just about on the 50. Maybe a little bit outside. The man on the mark is hanging back. It's Madigan. Crows need this. Wigney starts it right. It's bending back. It's touch and go. It misses to the right hand side. Well, that's disappointing for Adelaide because uh, Hawthorne made the most of their chances in the first term. 8 6 to a point at quarter time. And the Crows just letting themselves down a little bit there. Here's Smart. Wren. Anderson. Not bad off the right foot, but a good mark by Cooper at half-back. Quickly plays on. Taylor. Short pass. Not bad either. Ben Allen out in front of Andrew Jarman. Handball over the top. Calling and running is Johnny Platt. High kick. Half-forward. Hudson. Punched away by Rusciuto. Finishes with Sean oh. Wren. Handball no good. Platt chops it off. And look at this rebound. Hawthorne will get a goal here. They've got to be absolute certainties. They've got three against two. Pritchard goes into an open goal. And he pops it through. Well, that's the second mistake Sean Wren has made. He's looking around. He's a little too slow in getting the ball on. He's got to kick it sometimes. Exactly man. right. Because he got tackled by Dunstall in the forward pocket because he looked for the handball. And again, he looked around just too slow. Turned it over. Hence, Pritchard kicks his goal. A lot is said about decision making in modern day football, but that's what it's all about there. So, imagine much as it was at quarter time. Hawks clearly on top. In 
Grissom again today. And just when they've been written off in a few quarters, back they come aggressively. 11 6 to 3 5. Still a half to go. Allen's been terrific. He had around the ball. This is Collins. Allen has had 22 possessions so far, approaching half time. Over the ball to Regenza. Well, they knew that was coming. Away comes Condon. It was charged down by Jarman initially. And now Hudson. Hudson left half forward. Little chip pass. Gary Ayres. He'd enjoy this. He'll have a chance to kick a goal from about 40 metres. I suppose it is a criticism you can level at footballers these days, and they don't deserve too many, but sometimes they try and make every possession a work of art when you really do, on occasions, need to hold the ball and on others, just kick the ball. Here's Ayres. From 45 metres out, it wanders off to the left and misses a behind then. Three minutes to half-time. Good running by Ayres because he's playing half-back on Wiedemann. And it's to be noted that uh, when Gary Ayres does something, most of the players get near him to give him a, a pat of encouragement. Adelaide clear the ball from full back. But have a guess who's got it. Gary Ayres. Away for Darren Jarman. His short kick marked by Hudson. He could play on. Short kick. All right. Mark taken by Nixon. Well, they're starting to leerize a little bit because there was two players around Nixon when Hudson let that ball go and still hit him with it. Maybe you could say excellent skill by Hudson. Well, this is a very similar position from where Ayres had the last shot for goal. Nixon's kick, the same result. Hooks it away to the left and through for one behind. That's Ricky Nixon's first score. He started on the interchange bench. Lee to kick in for Adelaide straight down the ground. You wouldn't believe we had rain here earlier. Brilliant sunshine now. Darren Jarman thumps it in towards full forward. Picked off by Hudson. Brilliant roving. Hooks the kick too far. Doesn't normally miss those, does he? No, you could have nearly have written that down as soon as he pitched the ball off the pack. But 11-9 uh, to 3-5. Under two minutes left in the first half. Jamison kicks it to himself. Runs out to Fox it, then goes short and finds Anderson. Anderson in the back pocket. Throws under pressure. There's Bickler. Right half back. Boots it towards the wing. Wiedemann in from the side. Almost the mark. It falls forward. Taken by Baxter. Baxter breaks away and boots it towards half forward. Committed to that ball was Nixon. And Nixon could get 50 and will. Andrew Jarman's not happy, but it was a 50-50 ball and Nixon came at best. And then Andrew Jarman's applied the sweeper hole. That comes up by Cameron, and Nixon will kick a goal from only about 25 metres out. So everything is falling apart for the Crows at the present time. Such a big game for them, and likewise for the Hawks. The Hawks are grasping the opportunity. Goal. Nixon gets his first, and Hawthorne 12-9, the Crows are 3-5. Is there any question, Don, about that 50 metres? Well, I, I, I just raised the, the eyebrows. Line? Yes, I just raised the eyebrows. I thought maybe a little bit harsh. The 50, here it is on screen again. Well, a high tackle, but then he threw him to the ground, so... Well, it's real, you know, I just raised the eyebrows. Fair it's enough. Very questionable. Well, it's a goal on the scoreboard to Hawthorne. 12-9 to 3-5. The bounce favours Deer, tackled by Wren, got the ball clear somehow, whether it was fair. Rowe, McDermott over the top, and a crush of players right in the centre circle. Right so, about Deer, he seemed to throw it, didn't he? Yep. Empire uh, Cameron will throw the ball in the air. I know this might sound strange, but I was told by a couple of the boys when I came into the ground here today that... Uh, they're actually hosing this ground this morning and that was the problem with it two weeks ago when it was very very sandy they hadn't put any water on it leading up to that week and this week they've made sure that it's uh, nice and prepared for this game Darren Jarman gets the handball away Andrew Jarman chance for Anderson ball still in play Anderson hooks the kick Towards half forward, Taylor out in front of Smart, doing a pretty good job on that player. 
Darren Jarman. Look at the skill of this player. Hardly misses his target, Condon. And the siren sounds it's half time in this very important game for Adelaide and Hawthorne. And Hawthorne with a very, very good lead at half time. They lead 12 9 81. Adelaide 35 23. It will probably be the best result as far as Adelaide are concerned, but it's so congested there at the edge of the top six and inside the six. 12-9-3-5 as we start the third turn then. The bounce sits up above Wren, who knocks it down to his feet. Jarman's hand pass didn't go anywhere. Condon was pushed off the ball in the back to Tregenza. No free kick. Or is it? Yes, he's getting one. Tregenza alongside the centre circle. Well, the umpires may have heard Max. Tregenza has the football. Got the lights on here too, haven't they? Already. Kicks a football high towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Wiedemann. Rowe. Now Anderson. Loves to kick long goals. Gets good distance. Oh, oh, that could be a free kick to Modra. Not forthcoming. Whitney has the football. Tries to get it clear. Brown now. Hand pass. No. Cooper chipping in. Clears for Hawthorne. Well, Modra should have got a free kick there. Let's say that right off the bat. Umpire was in a good position too to have a good look at that. Bickley. Yes, being held by the arm by Chris Langford. Rowe. McGuinness. A high kick. Nearly taken by Taylor. It is by Madigan, but he's swapped. Smart. Handball. Rowe. Can't get clear. Gives away a little bit of ground. Andrew Jarman. A high blind kick. And the mark is taken by Platten on that last line of defence. He's allowed to run away too easily. And have a look at this. Ben Allen's got an acre in front of himself. Gives the hand pass away for Taylor. In comes Smart. Ben Allen's handball. OK. Runs on. Takes it back from Condon. And then kicks Hawthorne up towards half forward. It goes through Dunstall and Jamison. But Dunstall goes after it again. Gowers. And a good smother off the boot by Maynard. Takes it over. For a throw in in the right forward pocket for Hawthorne. Is it possible to have an inconspicuous superstar? Because I think Ben Allen's all of that. He's just a terrific ball getter. Just keeps running, doesn't he? Yeah. Up and down the ground all day long. Gowers and Wren. Hudson. Shot for goal is offline. Two behinds to Paul Hudson. Started the game on the interchange bench. Came on in that second term. And yet to kick a goal. Ben Allen up to 25 possessions now in the opening minutes of the third term. A wonderful afternoon. Jamison in place of Hart back there. That's hurt them, although Dunstall did get off to a good start. Wren sure, perhaps could have a got a free. Kick. Yes, yes. appeared to be pushed in the back. Down goes Allen. He's getting a free. Mm. Allen has the ball. Forward of the centre circle. Unloads for distance. It falls into the hole. Here comes Dunstall. Well done by Jamison. A timely fist. Angled back towards the boundary. Lee pushed off the ball. Came back strongly. Nixon keeps it in. Treads the light. Fantastic. Runs around the boundary line. Bananas a goal. Great solo effort by Ricky Nixon, the former Saint. And Hawthorne increased their lead, 13-10 to 3-5. Well, he started originally, from, he was originally a Carlton player, Ricky Nixon, went down to uh, St Kilda. Now he's at Hawthorne, but I saw him one day playing a half-back flank against Richard Osborne at uh, Victoria Park, Osborne half four. What a terrific battle they used to put on that particular day. That was when he was playing for St Kilda, now at Hawthorne. Well, Ricky Nixon has now kicked two goals to become Hawthorne's second leading goal scorer for the day. Dunstall has kicked five. Just talking about umpiring decisions, I mean, you'd have to be blueing, wouldn't you, about that last passage of play where Wren could have nearly got a free kick and then it went to Hawthorne. Tiggy Touchwood and then goes into the goal scoring area and they get a goal. Quite right. Hawthorne have forced it forward once again. Scott Lee, who was involved in the passage of play, where Nixon kicked the goal. I think he'd be a bit disappointed with what he tried to do just a few minutes ago and he tried to kick it off the ground and he was outnumbered three to one. Nixon finishing up, running into an open, open goal. Deer and Wren, a real struggle, body for body. Lee, now McGuinness, McDermott. Gee, they're uh, way back there in Hawthorne's oh, forward area. Tregenza has the football and he'll 
clear away for Adelaide. Either Woods, the wing, storming up the ground is Taylor. Oh, well played, but then he left it behind. Jarman slides in there, made a contest, bought some time for this man, Smart. He picks it up and boots it down towards half wood. Wigney's in front, they're almost the mark. Good effort. Madigan over the top. A timely boot from Wiedemann. He found some space on the 50 to Wigney, back to goal. Hand passes back about 10 metres now. Smart runs to the 50, goes for the short pass wide of the target though. Modra has to go. Keeps it in. Modra then slipped over. Sliding in is Pritchard like a base runner going to second. And he takes it across the line. That was a poor pass by Smart. He had a ton of time to hit Modra with the ball. He just had to put it out in front but still didn't find the mark. Smart works his way in front. Taylor almost clean possession through his hands though. Smart again. Taylor again. Well, plenty of crows around the ball. Rowe emerges with it to Anderson, who goes with the left foot. It slides across the face, didn't miss by much. A behind. They're well, going a little bit better the third quarter, but have Hawthorne just taken the foot off the throttle a little bit. Adelaide are matching it in the third quarter with Hawthorne. Well, here's Langford to kick it back for Hawthorne. He gets it just outside 50 metres. Deer can't take the mark. Tregenza. Handball over the top, chance for Bickley, he's dragged down by Taylor, Nigel Smart, harassed there by Platten, Platten goes after it again, Brown over the top, infringes, and Platten will take the free kick. Well, that was a fairly blatant free kick for Johnny Platten. Handball's away, Baxter in the left back pocket, kicks it high, out towards half-back, no mark to Anderson, probably should have taken it. McDermott's little flip for the advantage of Smart, too high, and Nigel Smart will take the free kick. So whatever Adelaide supporters that are here at Waverley, giving some ironical cheers there, that was a certain free kick. Ben Allen knew it. Smart kicks in towards full forward. No mark taken there by Whitney. Handball by Cooper. Looks out wide for Baxter. Baxter gathers. He's in trouble in the back pocket. Could nearly be penalised for holding the ball. Dispossessed of it in the finish. Platten had control of it, and umpire Cameron will throw it in the air. Well within scoring distance for Hawthorne. Now Rowe, hard at Baxter. <laughs> Collins, Deer. And again, a free kick. Well, was it there? Certainly the umpire has paid it, but uh, another questionable one for the Hawks. Deer kicks it wide where Cooper will mark. As Max got us thinking. There's Cooper towards the wing. Gower's up in front, takes a strong mark, releases the ball nicely. Darren Jarman down towards half forward. Hudson goes back. With him is Lee. The pitch is behind. Dunstall charged down though by Lee. Well played. Boots it out towards the boundary line. It bounces just inside and trickles across. Just looking at the possession getters as far as the Crows are concerned. Bickley 14. Andrew Jarman 13, despite entering the game late. McGuinness has 15. Dermot 11. Wren has had 13. McGuinness. Socket off the ground by Condon. Bickley fell on McGuinness. And there is Maynard and a whistle. So the Crows yet to kick a goal in this third term. They went goalless in the opening term. Rucks go at it. Deer flips it behind. Close to the line, it's pushed across by Bickley. Just over 18 minutes till three-quarter time, and the Crows in a must-win game for them. Although I suppose they could get a chance to salvage something next Sunday. That should be a terrific game against Collingwood. Assuming this one's all but gone. Here's Tregenza over the top, nicely done. Anderson storms through the middle. Anderson probing kick inside the 50. Here comes Wigney. With the hard stuff, couldn't hang on to the ball though. Back to Smart, awkward half volley. He's dragged to the ground. Rowe comes away with it, well shepherded by Anderson. Here's Brown, open goal beckons. He kicks from 35 and he's put it through. Oh, they needed that one. Well, David Brown started on the ball. He's taken from the ground. There he is, his first goal, but the Adelaide Crows really have got to start to dominate the game if they're going to get back into it. They just can't match Hawthorne, they've got to dominate it because they're so far behind. Rowe, left foot. Good effort by Brown. Well, Rowe is an effervescent type and uh, certainly set that up for David Brown. 
13 10 plays 4 6 and nearly halfway through the third quarter ran up early ball falls for McGuinness tackled well by Collins going nowhere and the umpire will throw it in the air once again Donna comment about the uh, ruck contest would you like to see the what they, what they were talking about in the press this week about a tip off or no, something not at all I mean that They've taken a lot of the skill out of ruck play by putting the centre line across it. There was a real skill in getting the ball out there. Now they want to throw it up and make it easier again. No, I just don't agree with it. OK, the ball is now with Nigel Smart. He's got pace for a big guy. He's not quite quick enough. Jarman, has he marked it? Yes. Skillfully done, Andrew Jarman. Well, something good came of something bad there because Smart didn't see Jarman or chose to ignore him. Jarman was on for a long time in the middle and only the bump affected the kick that came across to Jarman. He had to work. Well, it's with Andrew Jarman and he has a chance to post Adelaide's fifth goal. Really should kick this. He's only about 15 metres out and he makes no mistake. Andrew Jarman kicks his first goal and the Crows get their fifth but they still trail miserably 13-10 to 5-6 a little bit of respectability to the scoreboard Wiedemann out of the centre quickly now Smart getting away from Taylor just gets bumped there hence the ball goes to Jarman he would have gone straight for goal had he not been bumped Nigel Smart. So it worked out for the best as far as the Crows were concerned. 5-6 to 13-10. I suppose if the Crows could salvage a victory here, it would be something special and suddenly momentum would shift towards them in the run to the finals. It's a big ask. And well, we well talk about players wanting to play on. Greg Deere wants to do it all the time. Every time he gets a ball, he wants to play on. Well, I wonder why that wasn't 50, because Anderson didn't follow his man through. He's allowed to go across within five metres, but his man didn't cross the line between Deer and the man on the mark. Anderson did. Around the outer side, Hawthorne, meantime, sent it inside the 50. McDermott's got it. Quiet game for him this afternoon. Chips it out wide. Brown's got the run of it. Brown, a lively customer, has it at half-back. Boots towards the wing. Wiedemann, Taylor made for him. He reaches over the top, controls it to his own advantage. Laid the hand pass, got it to Jarman. Jarman a little indecisive, gets it to Tregenza. Tregenza forward of the wing, kicks inside the 50. Madigan favoured by the bounce initially. Eventually it comes to Langford. And straight down the throat of Simon Tregenza. He plays on quickly. Anderson, the Crows lifting their intensity. Up towards full four, but a good mark taken by Langford behind Modra. He's killed Modra today. He's in front, he's behind, he's beaten him everywhere. Langford's strength. Hawthorne. Combining, get the ball to Greg Deer. His kick falls in short. Smart running with the flight of the ball, taken by Ayres. He missed his target by a long way. Brown, Tregenza, getting a few possessions. Kicks quickly. No one home though for the Crows. Greg Deer is there, tries to get it for Taylor. In turn, Baxter. Play on. The advantage rules surely with Hawthorne as it finishes with Cooper wide at half back. His long kick in towards centre half forward. There's Platten and Bickley. Platten does well. Gets it out into the clear. Hudson, will it bounce favourably for him? Jarman's got him. Handball for Platten was probably not wide enough. Still Hawthorne working hard at half forward. Andrew Jarman goes down. Tony Hall, the tackler. Balls spills for McGuinness. And McGuinness kicks it into the centre. And the mark is taken by Wren. He plays on. Tregenza lifting. Kick wide. Wiedemann too high. Gets onto the favoured left foot. Blasts away. And he's kicked another goal for the Crows. Well done by Wiedemann. Certainly one of those players that can lift the Crows. 6-6 six, six plays, 13-10. Started half forward, Wiedemann, then went down back, went hard, went off injured. Now he's down back on the, on, down on the forward line once again. Just look at the way they got it out. They're not, it wasn't a good kick from Dragenza. Didn't spin the ball in the right way for a drop punt. Made it difficult for uh, Wiedemann. There's Wiedemann kicking that last goal. Suddenly they made some inroads into that half-time lead. They've taken 12 points off it now, working up into a breeze. Inspirational defence just moments ago by Andrew Jarman. Outnumbered, outgunned, but he fought back and got the ball out. 
the Adelaide Crows. Just over 40 minutes to go. One down by Wren. Away comes McGuinness. McGuinness on the wing. Boots it down towards the attacking 50. Wigney. So suddenly a transformation's come over this game. A lot more spirit from the Crows. Oops a daisy. Having said that, into the man on the mark. Madigan controlled it initially. Smart knocked it down. This is Platten. Tackled by Smart. Brown and Smart combine. Smart's hand pass goes to Wigney. Hard against the boundary line. He goes for a short one. Well, what was he thinking? He found Cooper. Darren was Jarman, a... Or was a Pritchard injured. Near centre wing or half-back flank for Hawthorne. There he is, Pritchard. Pierce in a little bit of trouble. Ayres kicks it clear for Hawthorne. Collins can't quite take the mark, and Pittman knocks it over for a throw-in. Well, one wonders what went through Stuart Wigney's mind just a few seconds ago. They really had a chance. This Pritchard going he's down. His ankle. Deer doing the ruck work. His row again. Can't get clear. Handball Wren. Wide. Bickley. Has he got any space? No. Little hand pass. Wren. Spins out of trouble like a rover. Throws it onto the left foot. Up towards half forward. Wigney giving them something help, but he didn't have the ball. I don't believe that. Have you got eyes on fire? McGuinness. A high kick to the goal front. Marking contest. No. Langford punches it away from Modra. The ball spills for Cooper. In trouble. Still there. Down goes Brown. Langford, little one off the ground, goes nowhere. Oh, in goes Taylor. That could have been nearly kicking in danger, although it was his teammate that he was trying to clear the ball from, and the umpire will throw it in the air. The umpire's ruling there, I believe, is if you don't lift the foot above a certain uh, height, it's not deemed as kicking danger. What they try and do is paddle it on the ground, the players. Ruck contest, free kick going to Adelaide. And it looks as though it may go to Nigel Smart. Holding on is the indication from the umpire. What a difference having a dip, mates, eh? The Adelaide Crows are coming at the Hawks. Richard's not happy about something. That wouldn't be a major event in most stadiums, Richard and Tregenza. Here's Smart from about 35 metres out. Important kick, this one. He may have missed it to the right he has. Got a little bit too close to the man on the mark then. Smart. Three behinds. Nigel Smart. A sip for Graham Cords. Happier with this, no doubt. Still no reason to celebrate. A long way behind, but they will finish on the breeze. A margin of about four or five won't be impossible. And they're playing inspired football at the moment. McDermott to Bickley, who heads for home. And I think it's good. It's a goal. The Crows are on the march. Well, it's, only, it's a margin of 40-odd points. Certainly taken over it, and they're kicking against. Well, let me see, as a bruiser, it's about the same as what it was in the first quarter. And just getting in that goal for Bickley. So 39 points is the advantage for the Hawks. 88 plays 49. 11 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And certainly a bit more excitement has come into this game since the Crows have made that surge forward. It's Bickley again clearing the centre. Smart from behind has made a bit of a contest at centre half forward. Ayres, chance to clear the football. Advantage with the Hawthorne side. Was it their free kick? Well, the umpire thought so. Ben Allen's short pass. Brilliantly done by Gowers. Handball away for Allen. Maynard just a little slow. Ben Allen's kick goes too high for Hall, but at the back is Hudson, and he marks 50 metres from goal. He plays on quickly. Don't still lead, and the pass was very good. See what terrific skill by Hawthorne. Started with Allen, short pass into the centre, ran on, picked it up again over to Hudson, and uh, turned Dunstall. Terrific foot passing. Well, Dunstall's kick five. Both of these sides fighting desperately for a position in the finals. Dunstall goes for his sixth. No mistake. Six goals for Jason Dunstall. Takes his year tally to 105. Modra has kicked one for Adelaide. Takes his tally to 110. Well, this is exactly what Adelaide didn't want. They worked hard. They're starting to get some inroads on that scoreboard. Then Hawthorne down forward and they capitalise. Always happens when you dominate. The opposition seem to take it down and get an easily go. 
Well, Hudson has been valuable on the forward line since he came on. He's a pensive corns now. Of course, in the contract extension. Just a few days ago, here's Platten in trouble. Allen lost it. McGuinness emerges with it. Well, almost. Down he went. Bickley's got it now. A high kick down towards half forward. Smart camps in front. Fisted away by Taylor. It comes wide. Taken by Jarman. Who boots it out wide. Here's his brother. Darren got the kick. Andrews got the ball. Charged down by Hall. And eventually, it's tied up on the other side. Rashido at the top of the pack. So a couple of South Australians at the base of it. A West Australian. And another South Australian. Hall forced to do the ruck work. Andrew Jarman quick hands. McGuinness confronted. Picking his pocket was Condon, and the umpire wants the ball. The Hawks a bit unlucky there. Gee, Andrew Jarman's hand pass just a few seconds ago was a shocker. He's so good with his hands, but he missed the target by, well, again, metres. And not under all that much pressure. 14-10 play, 7-7. Nine and a half minutes left. Wren and Greg Deer have had a great struggle all day. Ball spills for McGuinness. Kicks quickly with his right foot, and it's out on the full. So the free kick will be taken by Darren Baxter. Looking to play on pretty quickly. Kicks it high, in towards half forward. Big punch by Rusciuto. Ben Allen plays it in front of himself, but Taylor is there to help him out. His kick goes towards centre half forward. Gowers has been good, giving them something to work to. Here's Collins with pace. The little left foot kick. Oh, Hudson nearly raked it in. Jamison is there to make it difficult. Hudson's little tap on. Lee, now Tregenza, gets rid of it very quickly. And Andrew Jarman drops what he probably should have taken, maybe. It was difficult. Well He's done. got it again. He's held. He hasn't got the ball. Gee, that was well done by Wiedemann. Got it out to Jarman. Worked hard then. Jarman switches play back near the centre where Anderson has taken the mark on the point of the centre square. Goes further. To, to the left-hand side, Rusciuto, long kick, looks up there for Wren, goes past all those players, Wren lumbering, kick it off the ground, no, he gathers, handball, Rowe misses it, Cooper held, didn't have it, play on as the umpire, in comes Rowe again, gets around onto the right foot, the kick falls with Wren. Well, why wouldn't have Rowe had a shot from there? Well, maybe he's doubting his ability to get the distance. It's only 30 odd metres from goal. Coming around onto the right foot, nobody around. Well, they've kicked four goals, two in this quarter so far, Adelaide, to Hawthorne's two goals, one. Well, Hudson's off. Morrissey back onto the ground for Hawthorne as Wren kicks for his first goal at Adelaide's eighth, and he's done it very well. So Sean Wren kicks his first. They're all singles for Adelaide. Andrew Jarman, Modra, McGuinness, Whitney, Brown, Bickley, Wiedemann, and now Wren. And here's the build-up once again. Wren racing after this ball. Tony Hall, terrific tackle here by Hall. Just turning it over. Well done. Cooper there. Should have been a free kick to Cooper. But anyway, Rose got it. They're back in the middle. The Crows have had a very good turn. Wren goes up and gets it down. They're winning in the centre square at the present time. Wiedemann going nowhere. Well done by Anderson to McDermott. Across it comes now to Tregenza who gets it to Bickley. Who feeds the run of McGuinness. McGuinness goes down towards half forward. Coming up on the lead is Modra. Well, they were late bluster in the first half, to say the least, the Adelaide Crows. But now they're having one of their gutsiest terms in Melbourne. They've outscored the Hawks five goals to two against the Breeze in this term. This for their sixth of the quarter. Modra at his second. It's bending back. It's good. Give them a lot of credit. Tony Modra post his second. And it's 9-7 to 14-10. And this game suddenly is an outside chance for the Crows. It was a real outside chance. They've got to do something in the last quarter, but this is well done by McGuinness. Modra's been soundly beaten by Langford today. Well, they trailed by 53 points at quarter time and 59 points at half time. 
And now the difference is back to just 33. Andrew Jarman trying to shepherd for the path of one of his teammates. And the umpire forced to throw it in the air once again. Six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Umpire Peter Cameron. Looks as though he's going to try and bounce it. Wren, but Deer gets it. Cooper. Kick straight towards goal. Bickley. Don't break the tackle of Jarman. Uh, for Hall, rather. It's Andrew Jarman now for McDermott. McDermott quickly to half forward. Oh, good mark. Excellent mark taken by Darren Jarman, standing his ground between half back and the centre of the ground. Nixon receiving from that player. Kicks straight towards full forward. Dunstall somehow has plucked that out of the air. And, Ma and Maynard is hurt. When that ball came down just earlier, it was cleared by Adelaide. Maynard got up. He's holding the right shoulder. I the trainer is running out to him now. He collided with the teammate, didn't he? Yes, he did there. He's just on screen. See how he's holding or favouring that right shoulder? The right arm. It is the shoulder. The trainer looking at it. I think he's been in trouble for quite a while. Dunstall has kicked six. And a very good kick as his seventh goal. So they've got lip tack on the bench. Hart can't go anymore. Here's the main uh, incident there. You see how he collided with uh, Bickley. Showing a lot of courage. Well done, Rodney. Because Scowers hasn't been the dominant player he was early, earlier. Doesn't look too good. So every time they've netted the next goal, they've been denied so far, the Crows. Wren goes up, gets it down, taken by Cooper. Cooper swings it out wide. It carries a long way on the breeze. Gowers in front. Leonard is tracking him. Gowers with plenty of time. Pulls it back across his body. Camped in front is Bickley. Knocks it towards the boundary line with Dash. It's Collins. Hand passes further afield. Clatton didn't seem to have it. A scramble after it. And a whistle. Just under five minutes till three-quarter time. What a transformation has come over this game. But they stood them up a very big start, the Crows. Still tough from here. Hall over the ball and in trouble. McGuinness slides in there and another ball up. It's become a cold, bleak afternoon now in Melbourne. Earlier in the day, we had periods of sunshine. Not the case in this third term. Under the cloudy skies. Deer directs it down, intended for Condon. He went to ground. Wren at close quarters to Pittman. Running into a dead end was McDermott. It was supplied by Hall. Back it comes to Wren. Hall did brilliantly to slap it out. Pritchard now. The game certainly livening up. And the ground gave way under Pritchard there. Collins did well to slap it down to Deer. But his kick goes directly to Bickley. Bickley swings it out wide to Wren. And he sold McGuinness into a little trouble. He's forced to kick with his right foot. And well done, Tony McGuinness. Trying his heart out. His row away for Andrew Jarman. Can they get another goal? Up towards Whitney out in front of Madigan. And Whitney has just offered them another dimension on that full forward line. He's going long. He's kicked for Modra. It's a good kick. It's an excellent kick. And Modra is marked. Actually, that was terrific play by Modra because I watched what he was doing with Langford going left, right, fading. Langford didn't know what he was going to do. Then Langford thought, well, he's on a lead, so he took off. Modra dropped back. And it was also well sized up by Whitney, who sent the ball long. Modra goes for his third goal, and he's put it through. So three goals for the Adelaide Crows, star full forward, and they pull back to within 33 points of the Hawks. As I said earlier, let's hope that Whitney can get his act together because he showed a lot of potential. When, not a, that's a horrible word, that word, potential. But he showed a lot of ability when he was a youngster at Footscray. Three goals for Modra and seven goals for Dunstall. 15-10 plays, 10-7, three minutes left in the third quarter. Greg Deer looking very serious as is Sean Wren. And Wren gets the tap out. He's been a good player. Ben Allen off the ground. Forces it to half forward. Rashudo is there. 
A sweeping hand pass. Bickley, you're in all sorts of trouble. But well picked off by young Mark Rusciuto. 18 years of age, and he did it quite brilliantly. Jamison will clear for Adelaide. In towards half forward. Oh, bad luck. That was a promising surge forward. It's chopped off by Jason Taylor. Out wide goes the kick, gathered by Condon. Condon centres the ball, and it's taken here by Dia. Terrific stuff, as Ian said, that gathered by Rusciuto, and then the hand pass almost in the same stride. This is Baxter inside the centre square. Sends the ball out wide. Gowers marks on his chest, close to the boundary line, against the hobbled Maynard. Gowers centres the ball. Dunstall's got the run in from the side. Big pack at the fall of the ball. In trouble was Wren. Tries to get it out. Rusciuto, in turn, moved at about five metres. Flicked out of there by Jamison. Taken away by Lee. Goes in short. Wiedemann. Wiedemann. The pass out wide. Rowe will need to go, and he does. He takes this mark. A runner to the outside. That's Stragenza. Uses him as something of a decoy. Then swings it back towards the attacking 50. Wigney could have been held. Leads back in the race. Picks it up. A question of accuracy, and he hasn't got it. That's a shocking effort. Out of bounds on the full in the right full forward pocket. He That's could the have worst done that. You've seen for probably six weeks, Dennis. It was a shocker, wasn't it? Like he needed to get a lot more on that one. Yeah, uh, bad luck. Here's Langford for Hawthorne. Nice kick by Langford, well outside 50. Tapped on by Deer, but chopped off by Wren. Wren's kick to full forward. Now the race is on. Langford and Modra. Langford will be quite happy, I think, to see this go over, and he does it very, very nicely in the finish because those situations can certainly be penalised for forcing it out on purpose. Tony Modra, three goals. Just over a minute till three-quarter time. Can they pinch one here, Robert? Well, let's see what Stephen Rowe can do. Can't break clear of that tackle from Ayres and Cooper, and he's going to be penalised. Gary Ayres, the recipient of the free kick. Baxter around the outer side, boots towards the wing. Condon comes to meet it. Awkward bounce. It runs on about 25 metres, heads towards the boundary line, stays in. Well, Pittman didn't make a very good fist of that. Jarman, who's been terrific, his 20th possession, goes in short. McDermott has the ball right on the centre wing. So we're down now to 30 seconds. It's been a fine term by Adelaide. Outgunned completely in the first half. Smart, strong mark. Some of the Adelaide faithful. There's a few here at Waverley. Call for 50. Smart goes inside the attacking 50. Modra comes on the lead and marks it. So the margin is 33 points. If they can pull it in inside 30, then they're a mad sort of a chance in the run home. So Modra going at his fourth. Difficult kick. On the siren. It falls in short. Three-quarter time. Certainly a gritty performance by the Crows, but it may not be enough after they trail by 58 points at half time. But at least Graham Corns has seen some spirit from his men. Three quarter time at Waverley, and the Hawks lead at 15 10 to 10 7. If they could play football over here when they haven't got the 43,000 screaming fans at their back at Football Park. Mm. He's been good, Andrew Jarman. Here go the Crows. Can they surge at Hawthorne in this last quarter? We've got 30 minutes left. They're 33 points in arrears and a place in the finals at stake. And big Sean Wren, who's been tremendous. Cooper, attempted kick off the ground by Condon. Eventually Pritchard. Collins, desperate. Gets it towards Gowers. Gowers looking to give the hand pass off. Then kicks with the left foot up towards full forward Dunstall. In there, Jamison scrambling after it. Rusciuto, lovely little tap for McGuinness, but he's taken down. Ball spills for Darren Jarman. Who may go for goal. He kicks it to the front of the square. Adelaide could take a mark. No, Lee, handball over the top. And away goes Jamison. This is Maynard now. He's a right half back. He needs to run it out. Goes for distance eventually through the wing. Smart comes up on the oh, line. Almost well the juggle done. mark. Fisted away by Taylor. Ayers has got the run of it. He's over the ball now and in trouble. Tries to get it across to Platten. Pushed off the ball. Back comes Smart. And there's going to be a free kick for Hawthorne out there. Ben Allen now playing half forward. McDermott's picking him up. Back to we saw picking up Jarman, who was a good player in the third quarter for Adelaide. So here's Platten with the ball on the wing. Crows need some early goals. Platten goes wide. Greg Deer drifting into space. Plays on. Morrissey close to the boundary line. Interesting kick. Nixon got a boot to it. 
goes about 15 metres in the wrong direction. Wren's hand pass untidy. Paul goes at the ball hard. Pregenta trapped it pretty well. Got it to McDermott, who kicks it directly back to Condon. Condon is marked wide at half forward. He gets past his Adelaide opponent in Brown and then kicks it in short. And the mark is taken by Morrison. Now, the Adelaide really have to keep that intensity up. Hawthorne have taken it away from them so far in this last quarter, which is only a couple of minutes old, but there's a sad trend building, I feel. Morrissey now. This will be a very good kick if he can score. He's going to have to kick it in excess of 45 metres. Gives himself some chance, no. That's good play there by Scott Lee because what he's done is upset Morrissey's chain of concentration. And so Morrissey really doesn't know where the mark is. Here goes James Morrissey once again. Not a bad kick for distance. But he's hooked it and it's through for one behind. Excellent, excellent play by Scott Lee because he got back off the mark and ran in. Morrissey in two minds. Finished up being inaccurate. Here's Jamison short to the pocket. Rashudo goes over the top. Maynard again brings it out. Kicks high towards the wing. The Hawks have got the numbers out there and the skill over the top. Darren Jarman wants to go his leg. Not a bad free kick to give away by Mark Bickley. Good play in the first half, Jarman. Dropped out of it in this third quarter, but uh, started to figure already and this is the fourth. Jarman inside the attacking 50 then. Gowers from behind. Good work in front by short. Maynard. Well, then it was. Nothing doing. McDermott gets it across to Lee, to Tregenza, to McGuinness, who carries it up towards the middle. The Crows storm through centre field, intended for Smart, fisted away by Taylor. Opportunity for Wiedemann, who was pushed in the back. Again, nothing doing. They've been playing that one all day. It's scrambled out of defence by Taylor. We've got the hand pass from Ayers. Here's an opportunity for Anderson. Now he's in trouble. Pritchard did well. Anderson works his way back in front. Pulls it around the corner. Like a soccer goalkeeper, Gary Ayres goes to his left. Attempted trip there from Pritchard. Andrew Jarman, who's done so well, feeds it to McDermott. He boots inside the 50. Modra's the target down there. Length and a timely fist. Awkward bounce for Taylor. Smart's got him. In trouble. Extricates himself very well. Snaps and misses. Preserve better. If there's one criticism that you'd have of Tony McGuinness, it'd be that when he gets it, he runs, but he bombs away a lot, doesn't he? He doesn't really have an excellent look up field to even kick it to his player's advantage. It's probably difficult when you run that fast, Robbo. I never ran that fast, so I can't, <laughs> I can't relate to it at all. Fair enough. Well, a man that gets the ball so much. Oh, there's a good mark taken by good. Andrew Jarman. He's lifted. 12 kicks, 10 hand passes, and that was his fourth mark. Well done, Whitney again. That's his fifth mark. And his second goal could come from that, which would bring the margin back to 27 points. There's Jared Healy talking about Jarman. Shouldn't be in this side. I mean, Jarman is very much the engine room, isn't he, of this team? Oh, he's a going slip well. player, though, yeah. Dennis, isn't he? You know, he's so creative. Very cheeky, too. He's back there giving instructions as Whitney goes for his second goal. Oh, it's close. Has he slipped it through? No. Oh, Gee, that's that a really... disappointing result for Stuart Whitney. In the context of this game, if they were to have any chance, he really had to nail that. Oh, and he knows it, the young man, as he goes down to pick up a hawk. Didn't miss by much. Still, it's in the area. If they can punch it back in. Be optimistic and say it's a seven-point play. As Langford kicks it towards the outer side. Allen, Tim Allen back on the ground, should have held that one. Now Ayers in trouble, concedes some ground. Eventually it spills to Cooper, deep in his own defensive area. Cooper pulls it across his body, close to the boundary line. Jarman walked his opponent out of it. And what has been penalised? Well, that's a pretty tough call. Oh, no, he, he definitely did it. He just disguised it. Jarman, but... Uh, trick me. This is Pritchard on the wing. Pritchard touches it down once and then kicks it directly to Tregenza, who knocks it back to McGuinness, and McGuinness boots it down towards half four. Great use of the body by Taylor. He slides in after that one. Jarman again, the quick hands away to Brown. Brown 70 metres out. Modra comes on the lead. Modra, oh, dropped the mark. Langford 
comes away now. Well played. Kept his head. Got it to Deer. Deer at centre half back. Into Mines. Eventually boots it out wide. And Nixon. So the half chance has gone begging. The chances that Corns was speaking of. Yeah, Mogra really should have grabbed hold of that. And uh, it would have been a set shot for goal. Instead, the ball is rebounded to Hawthorne's half forward area where we'll see a boundary throw in. Sean Wren, who's battled manfully against Greg Deer. They've had a real struggle, the two Ruckman. He's got it again, big Wren. McDermott, nice handball into the path of Pittman. Bit slow, Andrew Jarman, but McDermott is there to help out. He's going to get caught, tries to get the hand pass. Oh, that was a bit rude, rude and indifferent by David Pittman. The kick up towards half forward, and that's out on the full surely just as James Morrissey got to the football and the free kick. Dermot should have given the left. first one across to Pittman, then he got himself into all sorts of trouble. That was the reason for the turnover centre wing. Lee across to Red. Oh, yeah, free, that's a free kick. Had he have taken the mark, wouldn't it have been a free kick? Well, I don't think you can put your hands in the middle of someone's back when you go for a mark. But anyway, he was paid nearly the mark of the year a year or so ago, Wiedemann, by doing just that. Ayers has got the football. Wide to left half back Cooper. Now have a look at that. 21 kicks and four handballs, and he plays on that half back flank. Collins in short. Pritchard good running. Has the football 65 metres from goal. Kicking into the breeze. Short pass. Too high for Dunstall. Well done, Jamison. Gathers it. Right on the boundary line. McGuinness. High. In towards the centre of the ground. Wiedemann. Well done. You were going to get hurt, but you went after it and did it well, and don't penalise him. Yeah, that's a bit, that really is a bit tough. Oh, that really is a bit tough. Did he, no, he penalise him? Now watch this, right. watch this, this is just a bit too tough. Mm, well, very tough. the penalty is there, and it's going to Hawthorne. It'll there's be gotta taken. There's got to be a little bit of common sense, sure. Compassion, Don. Oh. Cooper, statistics. Absolutely remarkable. Kicks to the 50 metre line. Marking contest. McGuinness a chance. No, Ayres is there. McDermott putting the pressure on. Greg Deer somehow gets his foot to it. Doesn't really go anywhere. McGuinness getting back, working overtime. 19th kick. And the mark is taken by Condon on centre wing for the How Hawks. How many effective kicks? Good question. So the Hawks are holding. They lead by 32 points. This is Ayres. Back in pretty good fashion this afternoon. Centering kick. Gowers the target. Spills off hands. Up ended was Ben Allen. Jarman went through his legs. He goes back and wrestles with Baxter, who tries to slap it out. Down goes Lee. Socket away by Ben Allen. His teammate was about to pick it up. That was Platten Morris. He's got it in reverse. It comes to Allen. The boots are down towards full four. Dunstall was he interfered with. I thought he may have been. No free kick and the ball goes out of bounds. The umpire was just too far away from the action to see that. And you had to look all, try to look through quite a few players. So players blocking the vision of the umpire where Dunstall and Jamison were concerned. Well, if looks could kill, the umpire is very unhealthy. Here's Wren. Maynard. McDermott comes away then. McGuinness. McGuinness runs up towards the middle. We've seen that many times. He boots towards half forward. Smart goes up in front. Taylor does well. Smart crawls after it. Now he's got problems. He's almost been held. Pritchard's got the run of it. And Pritchard was held, says the umpire. Well, that's Smart just a few seconds earlier. It's unbelievable. Jarman's got the football on centre wing. Two bounces. The second one didn't come back to him. Now a short kick is effective and Gowers is marked at right half forward. Andrew Gowers, seventh mark, 18th position. Ben Allen taps it to his own advantage. Out comes Bickley, desperate. Andrew Jarman, little one in the path of McDermott. Too high for McGuinness. He's got to go really hard at this. He breaks the tackle. Well done. Tigerish stuff by Tony McGuinness. He kicks the half forward. Smart was held. No free kick. Umpire Cameron in a good spot to make that decision. And Langford will clear for Hawthorne. And the tack on and David Brown off for Adelaide. Here's Baxter for the Hawks. A high kick up to the 50 metre line. Wren gets back, but a good mark taken by Morrissey. Played on quickly. Ben Allen grabbed by Lee. Adelaide repelled. Back goes Rashudo. Out on the centre wing. Will it stay in? Liptak is going to swoop on it, not before Cooper can emerge and take it over for a throw-in. 
Hawthorne winning the ball around midfield, but Adelaide doing quite well across half back. 37 free kicks to 14 by Cheevers. There'll be a few lounge rooms in Adelaide. Going up in smoke at the moment, I would reckon. Bad vibes in some of those, yes, you're quite right. <laughs> Greg Deer tries to get the ball down for Cooper. Liptak chipping in. Wiedemann trying to Shepard. Bickley's got it, but he's given it away to Andrew Collins. And Collins, with desperation, breaks clear. His kick, too high. Pittman gets back. Can't take the mark over Nixon. Knocks it clear for a boundary throw. I would say, Robbo, it'll be interesting to see the Crows' reaction. If, in fact, there is one, it's hard to know. The clubs generally are pretty tight lipped regarding umpire Cameron. I think he's been the one that's made a lot of decisions or non decisions. Off hands, McDermott's got it. Told the play on, away he comes. He's on the other side. He runs towards the wing, boots it down towards half foot. Camped in front is Taylor Smart, trying from behind this time. It falls to Rowe. Rowe goes looking for Modra. He's made it hard. Modra controls it well. Back to Liptak. Oh, size 12's gotten the road there. It spills down towards the boundary. Whitney can't keep it in. And throw it in, says umpire Cameron. Just over 13 minutes till full time. 15, 11, 10, 9. So we haven't had a goal in this last quarter. Well, Whitney's had the compliment paid of Madigan off and Tim Allen onto him. Well, they just need a, a slight lift from Nigel Smart. If he can spark them at centre half forward, they still might be able to get back into this game. I know 32 points is a big margin with only 12 or 13 minutes left. Here's Rowe. Gets the ball to Bickley. And what's happening oh, here? He's penalised, is he, for throwing it? Holding it again. Hold, holding it. Right. Fair enough. Well, up by Cameron, not to be deterred. The kick falls with Cooper. 24th kick coming up for Paul Cooper. Transfers play back into the centre. Gowers can't control the mark. Handball away. Pritchard. High kick. Whitney a chance. No, good mark taken by Langford, who's run all the way down from fullback. It's the hand pass out wide. Darren Jarman. Kicks towards right half forward. Nixon has it. Wheels onto that left foot. A centering kick. Here comes Dunstall. This is a position he likes. Able to work Jamison under the ball and juggle the mark. The first goal of the afternoon was his 100th for the season. He's gone on to kick another six. He's lining up at number eight. Well, You've got to question some of those marks, don't you? It's always a contentious one, isn't it? But he was able to work him under the ball. What was wrong with that? Well, the arm up on the top of the shoulder. Pushed him out. Dunstall lining up then. And kick from just inside the 50. Good looking effort. And that could just about seal it. The first goal of the final term, and we played more than half the quarter 16 11, 10 9. Might get a shot here on replay. See the arm just going out, nudging uh, Jamison forward. But he does it so well. It's hard for the umpires to pick. Well, top effort by Dunstall. He's kicked eight goals. Full forward for Adelaide. Tony Modra has kicked three goals. 16 11, 10 9, 11 and a half minutes left. Greg Deer gets the tap out. Collins off the ground. Hudson on, Chocolate haul off by the McDermott. McDermott goes straight down the ground. Punched away from Smart by Taylor. Ball rebounds. Darren Jarman couldn't control it. In the middle of the action there was Rowe. He's still after it, Stephen Rowe. Effervescent player. Handball Smart. Now Tregenza, 50 metres out. Out in front of Modra. Gathers, can't break the tackle. Handballs to his own advantage. May still get it. Well done. Good effort by Modra. Excellent effort. He's kicked four goals now. And certainly had a titanic struggle with Chris Langford, who's one of the best fullbacks in the competition. Well, here it is, the build-up. David Pittman's off two in this passage of play and replaced by David Brown. But Tregenza getting the ball down. Watch the way Modra fights on. Held. Really did well. Good kick for goal, too. Excellent kick. Well, he hasn't had many chances, has he, Tony Modra? But he's kicked four. The 
points, seven kicks and uh, two handballs. Bickley gives it to Collins. Got a chance again. Now Jarman, held by one hand, got his left foot to it. Wiedemann, similarly, left foot kick in towards half forward. Taylor, hasn't done a bad job on Nigel Smart. Very good job, I reckon, especially punching that ball away yep. since half time. 12 kicks and four handballs, so he's had his share of the football. Short pass, finds Pritchard. Hawthorne have had trouble at centre half back and centre half forward all the year. Gowers has been pretty good across the half forward line and Taylor across the half back line. Here's Morrissey's kick into a vacant half forward area, bouncing close to the line, goes over for a throw in. So 10 minutes left. Hawthorne should be able to hang on. 32 points in front. Adelaide will have to play Collingwood next week for their chance to participate in these final series. Bickley overruns it. Platten in there putting some pressure on. And the umpire will throw it in the air. Matthew Liptak, last man to get to his feet. And a ball up right on the 50 metre line. McDermott gives away a bit of ground. Rusciuto gives it to Liptak. Liptak's kick in towards the centre. No mark taken. Good gather by Rowe, he goes away for Brown, Wiedemann caught, got the handball away to Rowe, and somehow got it back again. And then kicked efficiently off the right foot, the mark taken by Modra. Four goals to Tony Modra, can he get his fifth goal from eight kicks? He's kicking from 40 metres. Here he goes. It's close. It's offline. So four goals, one to Tony Modra. At the other end, Dunstall has kicked eight straight. Tim Allen, get back in defence. Well, it may sound a little odd, but since half time, we may have seen Adelaide turn their Melbourne adversities around to a certain extent. They've been terrific in the second half. And that despite the fact they look certain to lose this game now. They've shown a lot of spirit. They were challenged by their coach and they have responded. This is Darren Jarman around the outer side wing. And what a finish we're set for next weekend. So many games will be absolutely vital to positions inside the six and even the composition of the six. There's McDermott running it up towards the wing. Away it comes to Bickley. Rusciuto on the wing. Rusciuto goes down towards half forward. Coming on the lid again is Modra. And he marks on his chest. He's a long way from goal. It'll take a good kick from here. It's quite quick over the ground, Modra, getting away from Langford. So just under eight minutes till full time. 101 to 76. So Modra. This will make it interesting. Good looking kick, it's bending back, it's a great kick, it's a goal. Modra has five and the Crows refuse to go away. Look at the scoreline now. It's 25 points the difference. And really he knew he had to go for distance and that was an excellent kick. If we watch on replay, how he really jumped into the ball when he was kicking for goal. Look at this. He really did jump into the ball. Usually he's got one leg purchased on the ground. The left leg is purchased on the ground. But that time it really, really jumped into it. Terrific distance and accuracy. Well, 25 points the difference with seven and a half minutes left. They'd certainly need to go straight forward out of this centre bounce and get a goal. If they're to win the game. 8-6 to a behind at quarter time. <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah, 53 points behind at quarter time and 59 or thereabouts behind at half time. Rusciuto, just a little indecisive. Kick off the ground by Pritchard. Ben Allen's got the football, gives away about 20 metres, but goes to Cooper, who's able to size up the situation and kick it nearly onto Collins' chest, arriving a little late. Megan about to come on for Hawthorne. Wiedemann it was, coming in a little late. Condon going off. Collins with the football at right half forward for the Hawks. The kick off the side of his boot. Anderson did well. Hudson was a chance to take the mark there. And Greg Anderson forces it over for boundary throwing. 39, free kicks to 15. 
point of conjecture. Greg Deer doing the ruck work with Sean Wren. McGuinness leaves it behind. Bickley a chance, gets his right foot to it, kicks it high in towards centre half back. Jarman can't mark. Anderson sweeps away from the half back line, runs his required distance, and then kicks it up towards half forward. Smart left it behind. Taylor, short kick. Platten in the centre of the ground. McGuinness has got him. Jarman, no, unfairly. McGuinness on Platten, and Platten takes the free. Aaron Jarman has it now. It's around Tregenza, runs it down towards half forward, pulls it back on the lead. Dunstall comes again, got hands to it, couldn't hang on. Well played, Rusciuto knocks it across towards Jamison. Jamison's hand pass, an awkward one. Bickley controlled it pretty well. Rusciuto comes again. Now Tregenza storms through the middle, running down towards half forward. Little chip pass for space. Whitney goes into that space and takes the mark about 40 metres from goal. So. Certainly winning around midfield now. That's a difference. Adelaide, they did well from half back. Series of handballs. And Hawthorne have fallen away in a few games this season. And certainly watching this one, Adelaide seemed to have a lot more run, particularly in this last quarter, in the last 10 minutes. Rigney goes goalward and gets it. So that's his second. And we've got over five minutes to play. And the margin now is only 19 points, Robber. Well, that's the ability that Whitney's got to kick a goal like that. Consistency's been a problem. What can they do, Adelaide? Can they make up the margin? I'd like to think that they've got enough time, but gee, it's a big task, isn't it? Well, if they uh, have lost the game, it was in the first quarter. Platten dives on the football. Bickley, Anderson, handball. Get rid of it quick, Stephen Rowe. He's tripped. Back to Anderson. Shrugs the tackle. Well done, Greg Anderson. He's kicked to half forward, but an excellent mark taken by Taylor. Umpire Cameron nearly run down by Darren Pritchard. Pritchard's kick out towards the centre wing area and the mark taken by Baxter. Baxter. Goes looking for Ben Allen, knocked away by McDermott. Allen was being held by McDermott, and the umpire saw it. We have a handful of Guernsey there. Good spotting. So Allen is down towards right half forward. The wrong end of the ground as far as the fast finishing pros are concerned. Dunstall comes again. Wren has had the possessions of a rover today. Releases Liptak, who runs through half back, kicks towards half forward. Great grab over the top by Taylor. Done well in this the last quarter, Taylor. He's played well all day, Don. I'll tell you what, he may just be realising his real ability, Jason Taylor. Brian from Fitzroy, he goes across to Pritchard and goes short to Baxter. And maybe they've weathered the storm now. 16-11, 13-10, just over four minutes remaining. The kick in towards centre-half forward and a good mark taken by Madigan. He's probably too far out to score. Goes for the short pass into the left forward pocket. Hudson. Hudson, Hudson didn't take a it. little bit of space. If Hudson didn't take it, Dunstall was there. In actual fact, the pass was meant for Dunstall. There's Hudson coming into screen, but Dunstall was the one issuing the lead or giving the lead. You can see there Dunstall right of screen, and that's where the kick was intended. Paul Hudson yet to kick a goal. Kicks and kicks straight. So his first goal certainly has sounded the death knell for the Crows. 17-11 plays, 13-10. Well, he's on and off the ground, Hudson. And he's done that today, on and off the bench. He's a leading goal kicker. Well, Dunstall's a leading goal kicker, but Hudson comes next with about 48 goals for the season. Well, maybe that's the situation. Adelaide, with their leading goal scorer kicking five and 114 for the year, Dunstall has kicked eight, 107 for the season. He's rewarded uh, smart. He's been in front all, just about on all occasions today, and that time being rewarded with a free kick. Short kick looking there for Modra. Langford gets the hand pass back for Nixon. Nixon's kick finds touch with precision intentional wasn't it yes I'd have to 
agree with that, but uh, <laughs> he did it pretty well in the finish. Smart doing the ruck work. Up against Taylor. Taylor a little bit stronger on that occasion. The two number 11s, Jarman and McGuinness, go for it. The kick goes back and Collins, as desperate as ever, takes a good safe chest mark. Collins towards the wing. Gowers comes on the lead, marks it, lays it off to Morrissey. Morrissey hand passes about 25 metres to Cooper, who's been so resolute in defence, uses the ball brilliantly. Madigan back to Morrissey. Morrissey inside the 50 and Dunstall on the lead, a sliding mark. Beautiful football by the Hawks. Yes, a great build up. Great build up. The overlap, the handball, the mark, the pass. Just training. Something you see on the training track. Just the running was good, wasn't it? Morrissey set it up at left half back and then finished up delivering the ball to Dunstall at full forward. Dunstall started well on Hart, who came off injured. Full credit to Jamison, who's gone back there. He's done a pretty good job. Dunstall, who kicked nine at their first meeting back in round six, goes at his ninth here. It's close. And it's missed to the right-hand side. So, from behind. This is first of the day, isn't it? Yes. Eight one. Graham Corns ponders. Dermot about to bring it in. And I'm sure this game will be spoken of in Adelaide during the week, for one reason or another. Here's Lee. Some indecision there. Well, not too convincing. McDermott, little sleight of hand, gets away from Hudson, then kicks it straight to Allen. Allen snaps it goal. Boy, <laughs> did they get themselves into some trouble there. Eh? Well, if you found that in the time capsule, you wouldn't understand Australian rules 20 years down the track, I don't think. Nondescript stuff in the pocket. And they almost conceded a goal there. The Crows it's thrown in slapped across the goal face by Madigan McDermott did well to Lee he's still not out of trouble as Lee scrambles it towards the boundary line out of bounds left full forward less than a minute left in the game so Adelaide will have to regroup and fight off Collingwood if they're to participate in the finals this year Wren tries to get it down to McGuinness he's held Scott Lee tries to hold the surging Hawks at bay. Hudson nearly off the ground. Off the ground, Morrissey. By oh, gee, thank goodness Jamison was there because that was going to be awfully close. Goes through for a rush behind of the Hawks. 17, 13, 13, 10. 27 points is the advantage for Hawthorne. And Jamison goes straight down the ground. Deer nearly took the mark. Taken away by McGuinness. A short kick into the centre of the ground. Out in front is Wiedemann. Thumps it forward, but there's the siren. And, boy, gee, that might be a bad sign there for Nigel Smart, was it? He pulled up quickly. Hawthorne have won the game by that 27-point margin. 17-13, 115. Adelaide, 13-10, 88.